Okay, so we have our ball of clay, which we've cut it into a sphere, try to sap it down into the middle of the wheel head, and then give it a good tap down to make sure it's really, it's stuck. It's not going to come flying off once we get the water on. Right, sit up nice and close to the wheel tray. The wheel, if you have a wheel that goes two ways, should always go anti-clockwise. Then water on your hands, water on the clay, anchor your arms on the wheel tray, and then just press down with all of your hands, just to make sure it's well and truly stuck. Try and use every single part of your hand. You can see the clay covering all of your hands there. Okay, more water. Now we're going to get the clay into centre. You can see at the moment it's a little bit wobbly, so we need to get it running true. To do that, if you make right angles with your hands and slip your fingers over each other, you're using the heels of your hands and this bottom part of your hand to really push and come for the clay to come up like so okay still see it's running out of center from that position you bring your elbows in your thumbs come together on a diagonal now you're using the base of your thumb to press down not the actual thumbs themselves the base of the thumb and these fingers just keep the clay contained, but don't cut, don't push underneath, otherwise you'll end up with a mushroom shape. So on an angle, push down, slightly away, and then let the fingers at the back slightly slide apart to encompass the extra width of clay. If you find muscle-wise it's quite difficult to do that, when you're coming back up, put your hands back into that position, straight onto the wheel, and then turn left and clockwise 90 degrees, like that. If you do that, so your wrist is bent, your elbow is now in your hip bone, and this hand has to come out here, so you're leaning further out. And what I'm going to do is just lean on my with my hip onto the hand and that takes a lot of the muscle work out of it and uses your body strength rather than muscle strength back round thumbs on the top base of thumbs on the shoulder of the clay and push down okay so it's just those two movements to get the clay in the center and this bit's called coning the clay. I mean, every potter has a different way of doing it. It's always worth having something to start with, some instruction to start with, and then eventually you'll make up your own style that works for you. Usually um, about half a dozen times minimum up and down while you're learning it may take more like a dozen times. <laughs> test whether it's in centre, it's running true, first of all, you look at it just by eye, but that's not wobbling around anymore, it's running nice and true, so I would say that's in centre, but to double check, steady one hand with the other, put a finger on the clay, and if the pressure on your finger is the same all the way around, then you know it's in centre. Using your thumb, just slightly flatten the top, because the next thing we're going to do is find the middle of the ball of clay. Draw a circle, push that circle in until it completely disappears. That's your bullseye. Make a slight indentation so you've got something to aim for. Okay, hands go back round, so I'll just move that one so that you can see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Try and keep that thumb as vertical as possible, and then make sure your ankle is and just go straight down with your thumb. 
difficult to advise how far to go down. You might end up with a hole at the bottom like a flower pot or a very thick base. That really needs to be just practice. Um, once you've done that, we're going to pull out to the right or some people like putting fingers in and pulling towards themselves. Try and see which works better for you. Keep that thumb nice and straight though. You don't want to tuck it underneath otherwise you gouge a hole in the side of the pot. Pull out to the right and that opens the clay up. So now you have a pot. An inside has an outside but we have very thin walls so we're going to thin those walls out. More water. Left hand on the inside, right hand on the outside what I call butterfly fingers. Don't see a junk well. Don't lock your thumbs, but just have them touching. And it's the tips of the fingers that are doing the work. So down the bottom, gather the clay between your fingers and then gently and carefully start to pull those fingers up while you're thinning the clay. If you run out of water halfway up, gently let go get more water on the pot and then complete the pull. Don't let your clay drag on your fingers. Now we keep up that, it's just between the fingers, the butterfly fingers, you just keep that movement going until you're sure that the clay is thin enough. Every now and again you might want to use a sponge to take the water out so that you can really see the shape of the inside of the pot. Okay, one more little pull just to see. Feel the whole section and see if it's thin enough, which that now is. As the, as the pot gets thinner, the pressure you use with your fingers gets less. Bye, John. Bye, John. Bye, John. Chrissy, what are you doing tonight? Okay, so your okay, final, pump, now you've got your one? bowl, your uh, final you thing to do is to shape. So we know it's thin enough. Yeah. Yeah, All we want to do now is make and sure we're happy with the shape. Yeah. So if you want to make it slightly more bulbous here, and what we call the belly of the pot, yeah. then you need to pull out with your yeah. left hand as you just support with your right. You're not pressing in and thinning anymore, you're just supporting. So back to the butterfly hands, but this time, the pressure with the left hand and rather than fingertips you're using the flats of your hand to support the wall of the clay while you're pulling out with this one so push out gently does it don't force it too quickly it has to be a gentle movement and then bring the fingers up and you might be able to see now on the outside that is more, it's more curved lower down. It's created that sort of belly of the pot. In order to take the pot off the wheel, we need to first of all get what we call this skirt of clay, get some of that off. So using your turning tool, just pushing the head of the turning tool slightly in, you can see a curl of clay that comes off. Clean it off, just tilt the turning tool slightly so it doesn't roll back up onto the pot, that excess clay. And we just take a sort of a beveled edge there. Okay, then, to take the pot off the wheel. There's a number of ways of doing it, but until you feel confident about it, it's probably best to put some water at the back. Careful that you don't bash your pot with the, the toggles on the wire. Wrap your fingers around a little bit and push down, pulling it out on the toggle so it's really tight. Down onto the wheel head, get that water up to the edge of the pot, pull through and then drop the wire there. Fingers flat, push the pot on that film of water and you can either put the board here and slide it onto but if you do that make sure there's some water on the board or else it will get stuck or you have your hand nice and flat and flush with the wheel head 
push it onto your and then very gently don't panic and drop it very gently slip your fingers out from underneath, underneath and the pot will go back into shape even though it looked like it was distorted this is <laughs> Jodov in Wililiskum in Somerset marvellous teacher okay right well, I think that's brilliant you have a look at it okay see what you think and I, I can try and 